Okay, as you can see, I'm doing some, well, maybe you can't see, I'm doing some sewing. And it's like, why are you sewing? Well, because I'm making something. Last night I started on this and had issues with the way I was sewing it. It was curving the wrong way, as you can see this bulged up here, curving the wrong way. But today I did this section here, it's curving the right way. I found the right sewing technique. This isn't, you know, perfect, but in the uh, way of the uh, wasteland, use whatever you can. So this will be my bad cop. Once I get it curved and everything, it will be my bad cop mask for one of my Mad Max outfits I'm building. Got a piece of chain, I'll figure out something to do with that. My uh, S&M buddy, he... Uh, We'll put some studs in it for me. So, yeah, that's what I'm doing here. The technique I'm using, if I can explain it, is... So I wanted to curve on this side. So the stitches from point to point, which is too ting tiny. You can see point to point. On this, I'm making smaller. And then when I go across the back, I'm making them bigger by angling the needle the material so this the outer material and when it folds it goes into the other the seam I'm doing or the other side whatever you call that I don't know seam I don't know sewing anyways when it goes through it the other side it goes through an angle so it doesn't go straight through the material each piece it goes through one at one point that goes through the other at another point and then when I tighten it, it causes it to curve so I practiced that on this right here it looks kind of Pokey. I can undo it once because you see I sewed it farther down here and I'm sewing it closer to the edge so I can just go back and do it and then cut all these threads out with my exacto knife anyways that's what I'm doing there's the uh, inspiration there the blu-ray Mad Max Fury Road I was going to do a review on that but really the only thing is uh, good about it or um, other than the movie is the special features there's a bunch of Mad Max geek stuff on there especially when they're talking to Guy Norris and refers to the car by its proper name black on black everybody calls it the Interceptor but the Interceptor is the first yellow blue and red car Max drives even though it says Interceptor sort of on the back of the black car it is actually known as black on black so there's a bit of super geekdom for you and a uh, guy Norris who did a uh, pivotal stunt in the second movie does the scene that completely pissed everyone off in the beginning when he destroys the car and then uh, let's call it the last V8 and then he uh, also does the final scene, the second part of the final scene in the movie, which is just awesome. He drives the doof mobile in the last part, even though, ironically, technically, he's also an actor in it. When the uh, final battle scene happens to go on Immortan Joe's Giga Horse. He's the uh, older gray beard blacktop you will see attacking and fighting Charles Leon. I don't know how to say her name. Charles Leon, yeah, whatever. Yeah. Imperator Furiosa. Probably got that wrong too. Imperator? I don't know. So, that's what's going on. And I'll show you the other goofy idea, which is going to be if you want to. We're going to start a thing. If you want to do it, eh. the crowdfunding does go well, but maybe this will go better. The, uh, send me your junk, and I'll show you why. As they explain in the movie, and as uh, in the uh, scene where you can actually they go over the cars. They go over the cars in a couple different areas in the making of it, and then they go over the cars in a separate special features. But anyways, they explain, and, they, and George Miller has explained in interviews that he... Uh, went with the idea that if it's the apocalypse 
you would hang on to anything shiny and chrome when you would decorate your vehicles and your steering wheel. So let me move over here. As you can see, I have the old, the 500 it's called, Grant steering wheel. And as you can see, I've already sanded and clear coated the wood, made this part nice and shiny. It has a little bit of rust issues, that's why I'm just going to use this for my Mad Max car. And I'm not going to get as crazy as those guys, because I can guarantee one thing. Those stuntmen were not driving those cars with those wheels, otherwise they'd all be jacked up. So, I have to make this safe too, but I plan on doing something in the center of this. So that's why I say, send me your joke. If you're interested to find anything, I'll show you what I got so far that I found. You're probably wondering what the seatbelt's for. That's for if I do a bone stock car again. It's just great for if you ever want to strap your door shut in different areas. Wrap it with seat belts as much as you can and duct tape works great. Got a piece of chain. I found a broken vise, so I took these out. That that would be great. And a big chunk. I think that'd be my spare tire holders. And I don't know if I use that on anything, but it was shiny. So girl. So I got that. But this I made myself here. I found some gears basically from a garage door opener I found. And then I found a nice shiny. That's why I kept it. Center section out of a small U-joint. I have no idea what I'll do with this, where I'll put it. But I just thought it looked cool. So there you go. Collecting bits to put all over the car and decorate stuff with. Uh, might make a screaming skull as it's called for the yeah, Fury Road. That's what the symbol is called, the screaming skull. I learned that from the movie. But anyways, so that is what I am doing. Like I said, some of your junk. I'll go over the dash idea in a later video. Or I guess I could put my shoes on. Nice boring video of me watching me put my shoes on. He's trying to be cute. Old man shoes as you can see. I'm not quite giving up and putting on flip flops or crocs. But I'm pretty dang close, ain't I? So, I'll have to grab the keys too since I always lock myself out. Give you a nice tour of the house. There's the kitchen. That was the kitchen. Now we'll go out in the garage. Chunk everywhere. Found some tools, so I just threw them on the ground to go through them. Of course, for the Pontiac, which we're going out to see. Toolbox, I might do something with that. It's too beat up to use, so I don't know. And I don't know if I have it out here. Yeah, I do. I'm going to go on the other side. I was thinking about maybe still using this, and I noticed in the uh, movie, I just noticed this when one of the bottles flew out of the car that they polished polished the aluminum bottles up. I thought that looked pretty cool, so I might still use that somewhere. Oh, there's a big one to use, eh? Junk. More junk. You're probably thinking, don't you have enough junk? Uh, maybe. But I want shiny, pretty junk. Just work on the seats bracket, finally. Seats are now at the right level. I just gotta finish the angle iron. Which, if I sit in this, it might go cold. We'll find out. But anyways, so... I found this in the junkyard, dirt cheap, at a buddy's junkyard. It is kind of a new version of what the dash, and I think around a 70 to 72 Chevy van would be. It's definitely Chevy. I first got it because I thought, well, this would come out. But as you see, it's one piece in the back, so I can't stick the whole... I can't mount in front of it because it takes up too much space. I don't want to cut up the original dash because even though you might think I'm destroying this car, all I'm really doing is adding stuff to it and not really doing much. Yeah, I took the firewall out, but this car is a subclip framed car. It will never have the original motor, which doesn't exist, finding one. So I'm going to do the best I can. It's become a retro street rod when I'm done with the Mag and Max thing. If you haven't seen the other video, there's a dash bar still in there. But this isn't not held in very well. So I'm just going to take it out. And I'll rework some metal to make 
the mounting areas so I could just leave it there. But then uh, the thing is what to replace the dash with. So I want to kind of find, and if you got any ideas, the only thing I could think of was an old refrigerator, but that doesn't look very good. I don't want to really do another car dash, a different style dash, unless it was really interesting. Because replacing a dash with a dash doesn't feel very apocalyptic. So I might, if I find, like yeah, if you look through the previous videos, the pit of cars. I might go down there to the pit of cars. Find the right rusted fender, or what I really like to get if I this Buick is this Buick is literally buried to about all you can see is a tail fin. If I could get like the Buick, imagine the Buick porthole part of the fender, and just cut that out and weld it in here, that would be awesome. Because this will mount to anything flat. You know, all I have to do is cut a rectangular hole, and that's ready to go. And the other reason I'm taking the dash out is because I'm slowly collecting all the correct pieces for it. So I'm just going to box it up so it doesn't get damaged, doesn't get, you know, I don't decide to like start cutting it up or anything. I'll just take it out and uh, box it up with the other stuff that's in storage and just go sit for a while. But there you go. Any ideas at all on what I could uh, I know I even thought about you probably thinking, well you got that toolbox. I thought about that but I wouldn't know how to incorporate all the pieces. So there you go. Look at everything. A uh, really poor review of Mad Max Fury Road. Uh, I'm a Mad Max fan, so I'm going to tell you the movie's great. Buy it, you know. I'm not going to give you a partial opinion. As a Mad Max fan, I had no problem with the movie. So, I'm sure there are people that are. But anyways, there you go. Oh, and this video seems to be very uh, popular, which is good. The Pontiac series. Because... Now that summertime's over with, that's why I haven't been working on anything that's been too hot, even for me in Arizona. So, uh, this will be perfect to get this thing running and drive around in the wintertime. So, one last look at everything. Seats feel nice and comfy now. So, uh, there you go. See ya.